Let's see now. Mix two parts of sex appeal, one part of sleeping pills, and two jiggers of bonded whiskey. Add a dash of nightmare extract, stir, and chill. What have you got? Twenty minutes in the life of Melinda Madison on Theater Five. <laughs> The man said. Hey, listen, Al. Why don't you go pick it up? It's the drugstore in the lobby. How stupid can you get, Melinda? I told you a thousand times, Betty and me can't have any part in this. Okay, okay. That's all we need to have them hook up your manager and publicity man with it. You're really a first-class boy, brain. How you got to be a star? Shut up, Al. Agents, managers, flight peddlers, that's what you are. Well, find yourself another chunk of flesh to pedal. I'm sick of you yelling at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 wait. Wait a minute. You been drinking? That's got nothing to do with it. Oh, hey, guy here with the pills, Al. Come on up with Benny. Yeah. Susan, talk to the coast, baby. Be there in a minute. Oh, hi. Come on in. Got a package, Miss Madison, from the Admiral Drugstore. Thanks, sweetie. I've been waiting for it. Am I glad to get these sleeping pills? Mm. Without them, I can't get a wink. Not a blink. Not a blinky winky. Well, now, wait a second. Wait a second. Let me find my purse. I want to give you... Hey, what's your name? Uh, Donald. But, Miss Madison, please don't tip me. It's such a kick just seeing you. I mean, uh... Donald, you're sweet. That's what you are. You're sweet. <laughs> well, I, I guess I've seen just about every picture you ever made. Oh, yeah? Or since I was a little kid, I was always crazy about you. Oh. Well, yeah. How old are you, Donald? I'm 22. I'm a senior at NYU. Well, this is a part-time job. You know... When I was a kid, I thought Melinda Madison was just about the most beautiful girl in the whole world. How about now, Donald? Well, I've grown up. Uh, now I can really appreciate you. Uh, you know. <laughs> well, you're a pretty good-looking guy yourself, Donald. Well, I can't understand. You haven't been in a picture for two years. I guess uh, you want to take it easy. Huh? Well, it is a grind, Donald, but it's nice. To be remembered and liked. You do like me, don't you, Donald? Oh, what guy wouldn't? Uh, look, when I tell my pals that I talk to Melinda Madison, they won't believe me. Uh, I wonder, uh, could I have... Uh, I mean, would it be rude of me to ask for your autograph? Oh, I'm flattered, Donald. Here, let me write it. Good-looking guy like you writes an autograph. At least. <laughs> Here you are. Oh, thanks. Thanks loads. Well, uh, I better be going, Miss Madison. Bye, Donald. Thanks for the pills. Oh, be careful about them. They're, they're bad habits. Bye. Yeah, you're a nice kid. Too nice. Al? Get me. The door's open. Hi, Al. Oh, hi, Benny. Hi, Melinda. How's America's sex symbol today? She's tight, Benny. Look, Melinda, put the glass on her. Oh, it's just a little one. Sure, they're all little ones. Put it down. Oh, right. How can I tell you when you go around smelling of the sauce all the time? Think about it, Melinda. If you got anything to think with. Oh, I'm sorry, Al. It's not working. It's getting to my nerves. And your nerves are getting you to not working. Yeah, Benny's right. If that only give me a chance again. We gotta make you a chance. Now, look. 
I just spoke to Sobolev at Grander about night lady. He's a real Melinda Madison part. Dumb dang, you know? No swatching. Play yourself. But, uh... He's kind of scared because you dropped out of the paper. So this afternoon, doll, we're going to put you back in. Yeah, tomorrow, several of them will be begging for you. All I have to do is commit suicide. Yeah, 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 yeah sure, uh, sure. Now, you, you do just what you're told. Open a pill uh, and count what I told you to him. Can you do that? What do you think I am, a dummy? Don't answer that, Al. Now, don't take any more. Those will knock you out without knocking you off. I, I don't, I don't want to... Any mistakes? Did you copy that note I wrote for you? Yeah, sure. Okay. So, now we're all set, huh? Now, Benny and me will be down in our room playing gin. Oh, put on something that'll look good, you know, in case there's uh, pictures. And there will be pictures, I promise you that. And then just before you're ready to take the pills, you call your husband in California. You tell him you've had it, and you're copping out. Does Paul know that it's a fake? No, no, no. When you tell him you rented it all, Paul will try to persuade you not to. Yeah, yeah. But, but I hang up, right? Yeah, that's right. So he'll have to put in a call for the New York police, yes? We gotta have the police. So when they bust the door in a couple of minutes later and find you groggy from the pills, they'll bring reporters and photographers and we'll be in this. Just be sure they got something to take pictures of. Yeah, and hurry it up, until we make the late editions. When the reporters talk to you later, don't tell them too much. Be mysterious. That's all. You sure? No, I, I, I don't want this suicide attempt of yours to be morbid. Yeah, keep it sensational and sexy. You sure there's nothing else I can do for you, Jess? No, that's about it. Well, sometime after you call Paul, before the police get here, give us a buzz so that we can uh, coordinate. Then he's got some press releases ready. And Biography, he... stuff like that. Yeah, when you call, you tell us you're going to end it all. Uh, just in case the operator's listening in, see? But we take it like you're kidding us, so we don't rush up here. And later on, we can check in. If the police have missed their cue, uh, we'll find you passed out and take it from there. Okay, okay. It's not the routine. Yeah. Well, just don't allow us up your lines. It's a good script. Me and Al spent hours figuring it out, and it's great. How come such smart cookies like you guys have to live off a dumb broad like me, huh? It's a question. Yeah, let's see if we can live off of you before we answer it. Like I've learned the last couple of years, 10% to nothing is nothing, and 5% is half of that. Come on, now, let's clear out so that you can get things started. Yeah, right. And, Melinda, you take it from here and uh, don't do anything, huh? Okay, don't. Be seeing you in all the papers. Yeah, sure. Melinda, the living doll, wind her up and she wiggles. I might as well be a sack of sawdust with a shake. Where's my suicide note? Yeah. To my dear fans and everybody, ever since I became a star in pictures, I have been grateful to the public who made me what I am. I have enjoyed entertaining you all these years, and I just wanted to say goodbye to all of you who have been my friends. Someday we shall all meet again in that great movie house in the sky, and until then, I send you all my love. Melinda Madison. <laughs> Don't they know I got feelings? Dummy, bird brain, stupid. Like I wasn't even here. Don't they know they're killing me? <laughs> <laughs> Melinda, come on, old girl. Let's fix this a little drink. Get this thing over with. Slip <sighs> off the robe. And get into a black nighty for the... Big end of the all scene. There. Hey. Not bad for an old husband. 
Hmm? Uh, keep a pill, pill. Oh, no, 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 no. First California call. Yes, Miss Madison. Operator, I want to make a person-to-person call. My husband, Paul Stevens. Astro Picture Studios, Beverly Hills, California. It's Quest View 5 something. Will you get it for me, honey? Yes, Miss Madison. You wish to wait? No, operator. Call me back. Uh, call me, huh? Call me. <laughs> Who's me? <laughs> call me. Call me irresponsible. Call me Melinda Madden. Uh, hello, operator. They're getting your party. Oh, thank you, operator. Stephen speaking. Hi, Paul. It's me, Melinda. I'm at the Hotel Admiral in New York. Now, look, Melinda, I'm working on the set. I was just about to call for a take. Oh, I'm sorry, old buddy, but I had to tell you something. But can't it wait? No, Paul. Well, I'll, I'll call you at the Admiral tonight or tomorrow. Too late, Paul. I can't take it any longer. Take it? Take what, Melinda? Everything. Life in general. Oh, no. Are we going through that again? This time I mean it, Paul. You know what I got in my hand? What? Pills. Got a whole handful of pills right here in my hand. Pills. You always have pills. Pills for waking up. Pills to give you an appetite. Pills to make you happy. Pills to make you calm. I married a walking drugstore. Paul, you don't. Seem to understand. I understand that you sound drunk as usual, Melinda. I also understand that I'm being paid to direct a picture and that I can't direct a picture with you interrupting me all the time with your personal problems. Uh, Paul, Paul, listen to me. I'm serious. I'm just plain tired of living and I decided to do something about it, so I'm taking the pills. But I couldn't go without saying goodbye to you, Paul. Because you're my husband. Well, go ahead. Don't let me stop you. Uh, you don't care about me one bit, do you, Paul? After all I did for you. What did you do for me? I made you a director. Years ago. What have you done for me lately, Melinda? Paul. Except be a pain in the neck. Hey, Paul, I'm serious. I'm real serious. I made up my mind. I... I'm going to commit suicide. I've got enough sleeping pills right here in my hand. I've had it, Paul. And so have I. Anything you do, Melinda, will just save me the cost of a divorce. You stinker. You... Don't do much. You just do what? I... He was nothing. A two-bit actor. A bum. Oh, what's the use? What? <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, I hate it. It makes terrible and make me fat. Oh, who cares? I wish I was dead. Hey. That's what I'm supposed to be doing, making myself dead. Only it should be for real. To my dear fans and everybody. Oh, not phony joke. I could write a burn up myself. To whom it may concern, if anybody. My name is Mary Mahoney, and that's who I am. I'm sick and tired of being sexy, Melinda Madison, so I'm going to kill her. But I can't do that without killing me, so I'm going to kill me. I'm tired of being whistle-bait and a dumb broad because that isn't me. 
I'm tired of being used by everybody to wipe their fluffy minds on like a public sow. Signed, Mary Mahoney. Yes, Miss Madison? Al Perala's room. You know my manager, 526? One moment. I'll ring him. Melinda. Well, I mean, uh, uh, how are you getting up? <laughs> I never saw Peter. I'm going to commit suicide. <laughs> what a girl, Melinda. you got the greatest sense that you were any before. Will you shut up for a minute and listen? Yeah, okay, okay. Honey, but make it snappy because I don't expect a call from a book here. They called Paul on the coast, and I told him, like you said. Hey, look, up, Melinda. Somebody could be listening. Who cares? The point is that Paul told me he didn't care. That's what he said. Like the quicker the better. That's what he said. Yeah, well, well he, he was just kidding, you know. Well, how come he never sounds so serious? How come? So I figured Paul don't care. You don't care. Betty doesn't care, and I don't care. That makes us unanimous. So I tore off the phony note. You what? I tore off Benny. Stupid note. That's what I did. Made up my mind if I was going to end it all, I wouldn't kid around. I do it right. Now, wait a minute. Are you trying to tell me I'm that you're not trying? I'm telling you. Hey, Benny, Melinda's planning to do this thing for real. Keep her on the phone and talk her out of it. I'm going up to her room. Al? Hold up, Melinda. I'm coming up. Melinda, you can't do this to Al and me. Why not? We love you, Melinda. Oh. Sure, we do. And we got a lot invested in you. Well, now you're telling the truth, Benny. I'm a property, and everybody's got a cut of me. Well, no more. So I'm going to take a few pills for your part of me. Uh, Melinda, uh, listen to me. Not anymore. And a few more for Paul. M- Melinda. And a whole big bag for Al who missed me. Like a hole in the head. Uh, and all rest for every Hollywood phony who played up to me because it was good for him. Melinda! Melinda! I'm coming up! Melinda! Uh, Melinda! Luck. Melinda! 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 Uh, Melinda! 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 Now they can't get him. Oh, tired. Wanna go sleep? Sleep. Come on, open up the tree, Aunt Perilla. Come on, open up the door. Uh, Help me, I'll break it down. Go away. Melinda, come on, will you wake up? You've got to wake up. There's a house doctor in the hotel. Try to get him, Benny, will you? Oh, gee, I hope she doesn't die. Uh, operator, come on. This is Miss Madison's room. Oh, I hope she, she doesn't die. Pill. She's too beautiful to die. The house doctor she seems so unhappy. I, I, I felt that she was unhappy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 know, I know. I think maybe she'll make it, Al. I used to see him like this when I was a police reporter. You can't tell. I was afraid she'd take too many pills. That's why I came back. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. She was the most beautiful woman I ever saw. The most beautiful woman I'll ever see in my whole life. Yeah, she was a good look. Uh, hey. Say that again. Huh? Just that way. 
She was the most beautiful woman I ever saw. She was the most beautiful woman I, I'll ever see in my whole life. You know something? That's a very interesting voice. What? Have you ever done any acting? Me? Acting? No, why? Hey, Penny, listen to him. Something different about him, eh? Nice looking, too. Woman would go for him, right? I think you got something, Al. And what a place to be discovered. Huh? Yeah. Hey, yeah, uh, what's your name, young fella? <laughs> of Melinda Madison, written by Raphael David Blau and directed by Warren Somerville. In the cast, Ian Martin, Vicky Bola, Donald Buca, John Gibson, Guy Sorrell, and Mary Jane Higby. Audio engineer, Marty Folia. Sound technician, Terry Ross. Script editor, Jack C. Wilson. Original music by Alexander Vlastotsenko. Orchestra under the direction of Glenn Osser. Executive producer for Theater 5, Edward A. Byron. We invite your comments. Write to Theater 5, New York 23, New York. This is Fred Foy speaking. ABC Radio Network Production.